Today we're going to paint the base we made in the last tutorial. And this is a really fast way that you can apply to all the bases of your army before gluing your miniatures on them. We start with a brown base coat and we'll build our rust color with brighter and more orange rust tones above this first layer. It's a dark brown, not very saturated, and you can see there are spots of darker areas and this is okay. Next I airbrush the panel lines. You can use a darker color, I decided I wanted some red tone in it. And it's just a thing of your own prefers. I tried not to use too many brown and orange tones here. You could do this with way more steps if you want. But as this is for armies, two or three coats are really enough. Um, you won't see much of a transition from the rust areas, but we will have different spots and they will have different colors and so we get life and realism into our base. I spray it with Games Workshop Purity Seal. You can use any varnish. After we sprayed everything with several coats of hairspray, we add our color. It's the same chipping technique that we use on many tanks I showed you here. I use beige colors as always from dark to bright. And you can do this with any color you like. It can add a lot of effect if you just use a color for one armor plate. For example making one red. Adding marks writings, etc. I didn't do that for this project, but it can really make a difference. As the knight who stands on this base is really imposing himself, I wanted the base to be a little bit simple, not to be a big eye catcher. Hit smaller areas with the brighter colors. and we already see a light transition. This one we will see in the end, but we'll tone it down with some washes. In the end I like to spray the panel lines again. And the trick here is to use layer over layer over layer. So paint the bright spots, make some darker bright color over them again. All the transparent layers come together in the end. Then we use our hot water as always, stiff brush, and we start to remove paint, create chips. Until you like the result. As always, most damage will occur on the edges, where the wetness can soak into the paint and into the metal from the panel lines. And try not to create anything symmetrical here.
I wasn't that happy with the result in the end, but when the knight stood on it, it all made sense all of a sudden. It can help if you put your miniature on it during the process to check where it's too much, where something's missing. Then we need our animal or oil colors. Put them into the recesses, the panel lines, and just feather them out using white spirit. I apply different spots of green, brown, almost black and orange color and start to blend them in all the time using big amounts of white spirit and we add a lot of color and life to our plates this way you can see the difference and I think it really helps to add that feeling of a long abundant area or in that case an area where Nurgle's knight touches the ground decays for uh, decay follows and yeah didn't take all too long but makes a nice base in the end hope you have fun trying this on your own and see you soon for another tutorial <laughs>